So, just hanging out. Um, Sunday morning, woke up kind of late, had a lazy day, drank my coffee. I'm just watching some TV and figuring out this YouTube thing. Um, gonna just have a lazy day. Andrew comes home around 5. He's working up in Denver for the summer. He'll be working two or three days a week. Um, and I know it's not that bad, but I still do miss him. So, excited to see him um, get some cuddles. And probably gonna make dinner together, maybe watch some TV, and then I'm gonna go to bed early because I'm pretty darn tired. So, just figure out YouTube right now and figure out video editing. So, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. It's uploading the very first time on my channel. You see? How exciting! Anyway, that's really the only thing. Uh, just exciting. We'll see how it goes. Such an exciting day. Clearly, we are living the dream right now. Hi, Bubba! So I was leaving. Hey, he's coming home. He just called me and let me know that he's on his way home. So I'm really excited. I get to see him uh, tonight. Yay, I'm just excited. Anyway, uh, we're going to just probably make some dinner. Um, who knows, maybe find a new show on Netflix. I've been kind of lacking on and what to watch, so just kind of surfing around. And I don't know, I get some cuddles and get to see them, so that's really excited. Team, um, I just woke up having a really late start this morning. Well, it's not even morning, it's like 1.15. Um, it just throws you off to work night shift, so. Um, just woke up drinking my morning coffee, and I would not survive without it, so that's why we're getting it on board. Um, catching up on my YouTube, watching my people, most recent one, Joshua DTV. Um, he's kind of the guy that inspired me to start making vlogs. Um, he's doing vlog every day, and I don't think I have that interesting of a life to vlog every day so I'm gonna probably do like every two or three days post a vlog I think that's my plan um, we'll see what footage I can come up with but happy Memorial Day I just want to take a second to say you know thank you to the men and women who have sacrificed everything for our freedom and for um, the life I'm able to live today and thank you to those serving right now and also thank you to the families that have um, lost someone and and learned how to live without the person they love because if it wasn't for the families and the men and women who died and the ones that are serving, I wouldn't be able to sit here today and drink my coffee and, and be able to sit in my apartment and, and live my life the way I'm living it right now. So just try to remember this Memorial Day why we're here and why we're allowed to allowed to be here and live this life and have a fun holiday weekend. Um, I haven't had to work this weekend so it's exciting. I've actually had a weekend. Uh, I think Andrew and I are gonna go drive to Pikes Peak. Um, we were gonna go for a hike but my knee's killing me. Um, I had knee surgery in February and my knee's just hurting really bad and I just don't want to hurt it more when I have to work in, in two days. So we're going to drive to the top of Pikes Peak. I've never been to the top of Pikes Peak. I have lived in Colorado my entire life. Um, lived in Denver, just moved to Colorado Springs about a year ago. I look at Pikes Peak every morning and I'm in awe of it and I still have not been to the top of it. So. I think that's what we're going to do today, drive up to the top. I think they have little hikes at the very top we can walk around and take some pictures. So I'll take you guys along for that and we'll see how that goes. But that's kind of the excitement for the day, I think. So it's wet and rainy. We're looking at fossilized trees. <laughs> Storming out, and we didn't get caught in snow on top of the peak. So, 
We wound up going to, I think, the fossil beds in Colorado. It's just kind of a cute little place. Um, fossilized redwoods and some fossils and whatnot. We walked around a little bit, but again, my knee hurt. So we wound up not doing too much. And then we went home and we got some good barbecue. And now I think we're just gonna hang out. Andrew's gonna play some Xbox and I'm gonna watch The Bachelor and see where the night takes us, but for the most part, it's gonna be it for today. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But I think the plan for vlogs is to do it the four days off I have between shifts. So I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, that's our plan. I just finished my last physical therapy session, which is bittersweet. I mean, it's good to know that I've gotten so much further from where I was um, in the middle of February when I had surgery. But it's really sad because I really liked my physical therapist and the people that helped me get better. So it's bittersweet, that's for sure. But I'm going to run over and see what they say about my car and getting it fixed. It's just a wet spot in the back of my car that's like soaking wet and it's been there for like two weeks and it's just kind of odd. So hopefully they can fix it for cheap or else I will be in the market for a new car. But that's the plan for today. I think we need to go get a wedding gift and get me a dress. Then I got to do laundry because all my scrubs are dirty and then just hang out. So yeah, but I mean bittersweet. Really, really liked this place. It's kind of sad. I really liked my physical therapist. He was a friend I'd call him too. So yeah, just just sad, but good at the same time. I got back from shopping and taking my car to the shop. And the good news is they didn't see anything really wrong with it. The bad news is I still don't know what's wrong with it. So who knows? We'll see how this goes. But anyway, uh, went shopping. Um, we're going to a wedding on June 6th. So I got them a wedding gift, which I'll show you, and then I got two dresses, so I don't really know which one to wear. So I got, let's see, I got this dress. It's just a simple dress that I kind of liked. I liked it anyway, just because it's cute and I'll wear it this summer. And then this is the other dress that I got. It feels more wedding-like to me. So I think this is the one I'm going to be wearing, but again, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to wear. So, but I got both of them, they were on sale, and I figured, you know, I'll wear them both this summer, so might as well. I never spend money on myself, so, oh well. Plus, I don't have to make a payment on car, on a car, because my car's not broken, so yay! Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're going to a friend, a buddy of Andrew's wedding on um, the 6th and we're really excited. I love weddings. I absolutely love weddings. I think they're so much fun and so I'm excited to go see wedding a wedding. Um, just excited for them. So this is what we got them. So it's a cookie jar and it's a really cool cookie jar because you push it and then it like opens up but and because I'm a nerd I get like fun stuff to put in and then I write little things about it. So like we got them, ooh, it comes out, it's a million dollar chocolate bar, and I'm going to say, so you're never broke, and then got them a little mini whisk, and it's so they can stir things up when life is boring, um, got them these little like magnet clippies, and it's so they're always held together. Um, Got him a pen so they can write down their adventures. Um, he's in the Air Force, so they're moving to Texas. Um, so just kind of a fun thing. And then along that line, got him a little Colorado shot glass. And it's just so they remember where they came from. Um, what else? Chocolate, so they're always sweet to each other. So that's kind of fun. Um, a candle, just a little candle, so they keep the flame alive. Um, and then last but not least, it's a cute little timer, and it's just so they make sure they spend time together. So, I mean, it's just kind of a cute little little gift that we got for them. Um, I just think it's really fun to do little gifts like this, and you know, one day when I get married, I hope somebody puts thought into my gift. But anyway. That's kind of the exciting thing we did today. Uh, I got to do laundry. That's my next big thing to do. Um, and then watching Married at First Sight. 
and probably gonna go to bed. I work tomorrow, so this is gonna be the last day of the vlog to put up. vlogging for the next three days. I'm sure I'll have plenty of good stories uh, once I'm done. It's been a crazy few days at work. But Andrew's playing Destiny right now and I'm watching Married at First Sight and editing my first vlog. So that's really exciting but um, I hope you enjoy it if you're watching and we're along for the ride. So cheers and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks for watching.